Hey guys, and welcome back to She Talk Systems. If you're new here for the first time, I am so, so excited to welcome you. My name is Nicola and I am the host of She Talk Systems and the founder of Nicola Melinda Consulting. So if this is your first time, please make sure you hit subscribe and like this video. Um, I drop a new video every single week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we talk all things to Pisado and click up for your online consulting business. So today's video is gonna be a juicy one. I am going to walk you through exactly how you can map out your VIP day. If you are an online consultant, you most likely have an intensive offer or a VIP day offer that just needs to be streamlined. So we are focusing on simplifying that client process and making it as good as possible so that you can literally onboard your clients with ease and give them the same high level client experience using Dubsado. So sit down, grab a drink, get comfortable. I'm going to walk you through this process, how you can map out your VIP day and how you can build this out using Dubsado. So let's dive in. So I'm going to share screen here. And first of all, we are going to get started with the mapping part of the process. So for those of you who are new, if you've never been um, the type of person to start mapping, I always encourage clients to start from the very beginning. Mapping is really the, the way that you'll understand your customer journey. So by sitting down and taking the time to plan out each step by step, it's going to allow you two things. It's going to allow you to see exactly what stage your clients are going to go through. It's also going to allow you to see what is actually missing to that can enhance your client experience. And actually a bonus point, it's going to help you to see where you can just capture any lost leads or any um, follow-ups that you may not have in place. So the whole purpose of this is to allow you to create a seamless and organized and automated workflow inside of Dubsado. So I am inside of my amazing workflow planning tool right here. We're just gonna get started straight away. So the first thing that always is um, the first you always want to think about the first uh, step, sorry, the first step that your clients will go through when they are going to be working with you. So this is pretty much what we'd call either your, um, your inquiry process or your, um, your application process if you have clients apply to work with you first of all. So for a VIP day, it is a high ticket offer. So you, or you're, for an intensive, you may have um, not necessarily an application as such, but you still may need to just gather some information. So this is where we'll pretty much start the process. So you will have someone complete an intake form. So your client will um, essentially complete an intake form here. And this could be your application form, it could be your intake form, but this is really where everything will start. And so the next part of that process is really could be done in one or two ways. You could invite them to book a discovery call. If you do sales calls with your clients, you might do that. You also may want to review the form first. Now, I'm just going to assume and um, because this isn't me doing a one on one consult with you, I'm just going to literally assume the next steps. And you can also use this as a base as you map out your own VIP day offer as you go. So we're just going to assume that actually whoever fills out the form, we've got some pre-qualifying questions in there that basically if they have filled out the form and submitted it, they are a very good candidate for our VIP day. So in that instance, we're going to send a scheduler to book a call. So the reason I've done it this way around is that if they really are serious, then your clients will literally, um, you want to also assess the information that's coming through, but you also want to invite them to book a call, let them know that you've seen the information come through. This is a good way for you to engage them and um, take the next step. So they're gonna complete the intake form. We're going to send a scheduler to book a call and then we're gonna have a couple of offshoot actions here. So when a call is actually confirmed, um, obviously a confirmation email should go out to let your clients know that the call is in the diary. So that should be um, an automated step if you are using a scheduler tool. 
Now I use the Dubsado scheduler in my business. However, you don't have to use the Dubsado scheduler. You can use other tools such as Calendly, Acuity. They are all um, great schedule online schedulers and they all pretty much do the same thing. Um, but I do like to keep everything within Dubsado. Now I will also say that as I'm building out this workflow, I am doing this with the workflow actions and triggers in mind of how it can compute inside of Dubsado as well. So the client completes the intake form and then sends in a scheduler to book a call. Send scheduler is a workflow action that you will see can be done inside of Dubsado. And then we'll send a confirmation email as well. So the offshoot actions will be that um, a 60 minute reminder, oh, sorry, a 24 hour call reminder um, will be sent. So this will go out to your clients and um, before the discovery call and also a 60 minutes call reminder will be sent as well. Okay, so those will go out um, once an appointment is booked, they, those reminders will automatically be sent out to your clients. So you don't have to worry about that. It ensures that the appointments does not get missed and your clients can know what time their appointments are and it just gives them a prompt an hour before on the actual day of the appointment. So after an appointment's taken place, I'm going to assume you are a ninja at sales, and that means that you really are ready to work together. So you have two options here. If your VIP day is a pretty set package, then you can literally send out a proposal to your clients. So what I like to do is actually have a send proposal or send form, and this will be your VIP day proposal. And that will be the proposal that will send to your clients straight away. So this proposal can be there. So actually what we will do, I'm gonna add a note in here. And I want to send this email one hour after appointment is finished. Now, if you do customize your proposals in Dubsado, you can also put an approval action. And all this means is that this email won't send out automatically. So if you don't want to have a proposal going out or you just want to keep an eye on this just in case it doesn't send, what you can do is put an approval on it. I'm going to say approval required. And then we'll send the email one hour after your discovery call appointment has finished. So this gives you some control over your workflow. It means that just because it's in the workflow and it can work automatically doesn't mean that it will. So this email, we're going to control it. And the good thing about it is that you can make changes to the proposal. You can make changes to the payment plans. If your clients want a payment plan and um, you can make changes to the contract if you need to, you can add elements to the package. So they might want more than one VIP day with you. So you can make changes before this email sends. And then the next stage of what you want to do is what happens after your clients have actually signed on. Now, Dubsado has a couple of really handy features in the back end. So two of those features we're going to add on now so you can see what they are. So the first feature is that you can activate the client portal. So this client portal is a space where it will allow your um, client forms, documents um, and key information to be stored in one place and your clients will have access to that. So as soon as a contract has been signed, you can have the workflow activate a client portal for your clients so that they can just jump straight in and they can access it with ease. So I'm actually just going to duplicate this little note here and I'm going to say do this after contract is completed. Okay. So another area inside of Dubsado that is super cool is that you can assign project statuses. So that means that you can actually organize your clients in Dubsado so that you have your clients um, sitting in certain buckets. So if you have VIP days as a service, retainer services, and then perhaps um, group programs or group um, coaching clients, then you might want to separate out all of those clients. So the project status will allow you to do that. So you could update the project status to VIP day client. 
I actually like to do this um, and I like to actually do this for my leads as well. So not just for clients who are officially on board, but I like to do this with leads. So actually what I will do is add in a couple of statuses here in the middle. Um, so I'm just going to break this out a little bit. And what we're going to do is add in some status points here. So I'm going to add in, um, oh, let's just remove that. So this is going to be a new status for any new inquiries. So new leads. And then I'm going to also add in a status here. And this is a project status for a call books. Okay, so you can see how you can move your clients through an organized funnel as well in Dubsado. And it just means that everyone stays organized, you know, who's who, at what stage everyone is at, and you can really just follow them through the entire funnel. So I love this inside of Dubsado. It keeps everything super organized for me in my business. And so, and so what you can do is if you do want to sort of differentiate what each type of things is, what it works on that, but as you're doing this, you can also just reassign the shape. So if you're like me, as much as I'm a systems geek, I also do like the visual side of this as well. So I'm just going to make all of these actions um, color coded because why not? it's fun so and we'll just turn that a little bit smaller perfect okay so this is pretty much our step-by-step -step flow to getting your clients to the point of they're pretty much onboarding in this area now so your clients have been onboarded in this area and um, you're able to lead them through the steps so the next thing that you do want to do once they have signed the contract is that you will want to essentially send them out a welcome pack or welcome email and let them know what steps are coming up so send a welcome email And so we're going to send this out actually when a payment has been made. So I'm just going to keep this very simple because, again, every business is different. You may take deposits or payment plans, but I'm just going to say that I will send a welcome email after payment is made in full. So if you do have any questions around the payments in Dubsado and how it works in terms of deposits, payment plans and um, automating payments, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer those for you. Um, so we're going to do this after the payment is made in full. That means your client has paid the invoice in full straight away. We're going to send a welcome email and that email is going to include some key details. So what's included is going to include It's going to include um, details of the service of the package, how to book their day, perhaps how to get ready, so you might also want to include an intake form as well, um, access to client portal. Maybe you have a welcome pack as well. So these are just ideas. It doesn't have to be a word for word, but this is an idea of what you can include inside of your welcome email. And so the next thing you do want to do is obviously send a scheduler so that your clients can book their VIP day. Now, what you could do with both of these, you could actually merge them together. So as an example, what we could do is say, I'm going to send a scheduler to book a VIP day. And actually, the welcome email could serve as your confirmation of the day. So we can do that. So let's switch that around, actually, because I like that. So we will do send a scheduler once they're paid in full. And then we're going to send a welcome email. And so instead, in this email, I'm actually going to say, going to put confirmation 
details of VIP day. That looks good. So you can see the benefit of mapping this out first because now I can have a look and I can think, okay, does this make sense to me? Is this easy for my clients? Is it you know, easy for me? Is it gonna cause a block in the process? So just by switching those around, I instantly feel much better. It's a much easier process. And my clients actually can just carry on um, in the back end. They are happy. They know exactly what's going on um, next. Now, what you might do is actually have a separate form to send. So I'm going to actually remove the intake form from the confirmation email. And instead, what I'm going to do is actually send a form. And this is a great way to share how to get prepped for the VIP day. So this is another way that you can enhance your client experience. You can send an email and say, let's get you ready for your VIP day. So if you have pre-work that your clients need to do before you can actually have them on the VIP day with you, then you can literally walk them through the steps on how to get ready. Let's get prepared for this VIP day. So this to see, just zoom in so you guys can see that a bit clearer. And um, so this is exactly how you can map this out for your business, for your VIP day intensive. And so some other elements you may also want to include are perhaps an, an email, perhaps the week of your VIP day or three days before. And um, so you just want to send perhaps a reminder, VIP day is coming up. And then you will also just want to have an email that will send out after the VIP day. So you can send an email out actually after the VIP day to let your clients know how much you enjoyed the VIP day, how much you enjoyed um, meeting with them, working with them, supporting them. Now, other elements that you can also include are perhaps a client gift. You might want to share some um, access to your project management tools such as ClickUp or Asana. So let's see how we can incorporate these elements into the workflow as well. So inside of this area, what you can do is look to build out. So we've got some reminders for the VIP day coming in, coming up. And perhaps we'll send a client gift. And I'm just going to do a dump. I'm going to do a dump of all of the ideas. So email after the VIP day. If you do support after your VIP day, that's also something to think about. So Slack support may be starting. And all of these are emails, you guys. So email, Slack support, email after the VIP day. Send a client gift is an internal to do. So that's something that you will do yourself or your team if you have a team member. So it's a different type of task um, that will go on. And then for the actual VIP day itself, let's put that on the, the map. So then you can see what is going to go on. Um, so let's do that as a star because it's the main, it's the main event. So the VIP day. Now this will have a couple of subtasks as well. So let's pick a color and just put it in blue. So the VIP day itself will have reminders in place for the day. So because it's an attachment or it's a scheduler inside of Dubsado, you can again have confirmation emails that will send out automatically ahead of the day. So you might send um, an email 24 hours before, and then perhaps you'll send um, an email. You could send an email on the actual day, it just depends what time you start your VIP days. Um, if you start your VIP days in the morning, then you could put a one hour start, um, but this isn't optional. It really depends on what time you start your VIP days. I work with clients in the US, so I could actually send out an email to them sort of either 48 hours before, uh, I might do a 48 hours and then maybe a 24 hours. Okay, so we're just really letting them know sort of what's coming up. Just a reminder to be ready, have snacks, have um, 
water and drinks and let them know the rundown, the agenda of the day. So you might also want to share an agenda in this space. You could also do that. Okay, so these are great ideas that you can just incorporate to really organize your VIP day process. And then what you can do is after the VIP day, you might send a client gift to say thank you after the day is actually done. And then you could actually send an email after the VIP day is completed as well. Um, and then you can also look to send out an email. If you do offer Slack support, office hours support, then again, this is a great way for you to um, just ensure that you are looking after your clients at each part of the process. So what you might do in this area, if you do have Slack support, perhaps this to do is going to encompass a couple of things. So you're going to invite client to Slack. And you may have some deliverables. Your clients. So these are a couple of um, to do's that you might have. And again, this is kind of like building out an SOP within Dubsado. So you're going to do have to do a couple of things for your clients just to ensure that these are done on the back end as well. Prior to the VIP day, you may also have some to do's just in terms of prepping. So I'm going to duplicate this as well. And you might think, well, what kind of to do's do I need to prep for? Well, it could be anything like this. So it could be send a client uh, voucher. Perhaps you do lunch on your VIP days. I know a lot of service providers will send out gift cards such as um, Grubhub or Uber Eats to their clients so that they can eat and have a working lunch together. You might need to open up a Google Drive so you guys can share deliverables and perhaps you need to share templates with them. So this is something else and get system access. So you might also need platform access if it's a, an implementation day. If it's a consulting day, then I wouldn't worry too much. You might just want to share the agenda. But these are just things that you would want to ensure that are done to make sure that you are um, on top of your client process and that your clients, everything that's needed is being taken care of. So let's make a bit of space for this little point here. And I'm going to add that into our workflow map as well so we can visually see exactly what, what is happening at each stage of the process. So here we go. Let's pop that in there. Perfect. So now that we have that in place, this can allow us to just see again what is going on at each stage of our VIP day. So you kind of get a view as to how many actions are needed and what prep needs to be um what templates need to be created for your VIP day. So also for your intake form, you might also want to have an, just a reminder email in place for your intake form. And this is great if you have clients who just forget, life gets busy, so we do want to just give them a reminder to complete the pre-work form. And if you have, um, any type of boundaries in terms of work that is not submitted, you might also have some communications to say if your pre-work is not actually delivered by a certain time, how it will affect the VIP day, because you also don't want to affect your level of service that you're able, you're able to provide your clients with. So now we get to the end of the day. So we've finished up the VIP day. We've done the, um, we sent them an email just to wrap up, say thank you. We've got some to-dos in place. We're gonna email about Slack support as well. That is about to start. We might also want to send out a feedback form. Send a form and ask for a testimonial. Now, this is a great thing to do if you can do this early on. So you could actually put that step inside this area. So you might actually decide to say, how did you find the day? Share your feedback with us. Um, and so this is a great way for you to really just know how did your clients enjoy their VIP day with you? So you could send them a form. Um,
Okay, pretty much just drafting what that email would be in this um, process step. But this gives you an idea on what you can expect. And then depending on how long your Slack support lasts, let's just say you offer seven days of Slack support. So you want to have um, an email to remind them Slack support is ending, okay? And you may actually send this out about, I would say, if it's a seven day Slack support, maybe two days before at the end. And that just gives your clients time so that they can ask any last final questions, make sure that all the deliverables have been shared, they have everything they need to go get on on their way. And so these two emails could sit, pretty much send out on the same day. That's not a problem. I wouldn't send them one on top of the other, but I would definitely give yourself a bit of a gap. So you might send this one in the morning and this in the afternoon. And then for your um, emails here, these will all be on the lead up. So this might be five days prior to your VIP day. So you could send that out. And then send in your intake form. You might, depending on how in-depth your prep work is, you might want to send this out two weeks prior. Okay. So that gives you an idea as to how um, or when to send out these this information to your clients. And so the welcome email we said is our confirmation email. And so this confirmation email will send out after the VIP day has actually been scheduled. So if we go to the top, we can see that we've mapped out a full VIP day process. So if you're thinking about incorporating a VIP day in your business or you have a VIP day, but the client process at the moment is clunky, hopefully this video will just give you some ideas on how you can really streamline it and actually just put all the steps into an organized process. So we started off with an intake form and then we're updating the project status as a new lead. We're sending a scheduler to book a call um, and then we have our call confirmation emails which send out for the discovery call. Then we have our proposal. So this takes our client into the onboarding. We activate the client portal and then we're able to update the project status because they are now officially booked and working with us. We're going to send a scheduler to invite our client to book their VIP day. Then we have a confirmation email, which is actually going to be attached to the scheduler. And then we will send an intake form. So two weeks prior to the VIP day, we're going to send the intake form and we're going to ask, give them details on how to get prepped for their VIP day. There's going to be a reminder for them to complete their form. We've got a reminder of the VIP day coming up, so all that they can expect you might share the agenda in this email and also in this email as well. We've got some to do's that will be there for yourself that you need to do. Then we have the VIP day itself, which will have some um, reminder emails coming up. We've got 48 hours before, 24 hours before the day. And then we're going to send out a form, a feedback form, asking for testimonials and thanking them for the VIP day. Then we have some to do's where we're going to send a client gift. We're going to invite our clients into Slack. If you do Slack support, we're going to complete and share any outstanding deliverables. And then we're going to email that their Slack support is starting. All of the, all of the details that they need to know about their Slack support will be here. And then we will have an email to let them know that Slack support is ending. Now you might want to wrap up with on the last day. So you might just do wrap up email and share next steps to work together. This is optional, um, but it does mean that you're giving your clients an opportunity to stay within your service. So if you have ongoing consulting services that you want to offer to your clients, then you can share that in your wrap up email and let them know that you are always there for support for them. So this is our workflow. So as you can see, we've pretty much gone through quite a bit. It looks so detailed, but you can really see the step-by-step -step actions to ensure that your VIP day is covered from start to finish.
Okay, so now we are going to take our workflow and bring it into Dubsado. So if you haven't used Dubsado before, you can check the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, but it will give you a 20% discount to use Dubsado in your business. So this is how we are going to pull all of these actions here that we've mapped out and bring them into a streamlined workflow. So th what this means is it's going to allow us to deliver the same consistent client workflow every single time for your VIP day. So I'm inside of my Dubsado and under the templates here, um, the first things you do want to do is ensure that you have pulled all of the content. So your VIP day workflow map has done two things. It's given you the steps of your client experience and the client um, journey that you each client will go through, but it's also shown you the content and templates that you will need to have in place in order to make this a reality. So if we have a look, we have mapped out an intake form, we have a scheduler, emails, um, proposal forms. So all of these are content. Your intake form is a lead capture form. Your scheduler is a scheduler template. The confirmation are all canned emails that need to be created. The proposal, this is a proposal form that you will need to use. Um, confirmation emails, reminder emails. So you want to sit down and take the time to create all of the content so that this can support you. When it comes to creating um, workflows in Dubsado, you need to have the content in place first. So once you've gone through creating the scheduler templates, your form templates, your canned emails, and even creating a package for your VIP day, then we can build out the workflow. So, so if we click on workflows, I'm going to actually show you how I create a VIP day workflow. So I'm going to hit next step. And essentially we have, this is going to be a template. So this is going to be something I can use over and over again on a template basis. So the first action for my um, workflow is that when an intake form is completed, I want to actually send a scheduler for clients to book a call. So what I'm going to do is actually add an action and the workflows have two actions. You've got an action and then you've got a trigger. So the action is what is going to happen when the trigger is when should this happen. So I'm going to keep it as after all previous actions are complete and I'm going to say send an appointment scheduler. Now this is the discovery call remember so I want to select a discovery call template so I actually have um, that's my clarity call so I'm going to send that here. I have um, an email already attached so I'm literally just going to apply that to my workflow um, straight away. Now, what's going to happen is if I click on add action again, I want to change the project status. So I'm going to change that. So actually, this status is going to be for new leads. And I'm going to say a new inquiry. Um, yes, I've spelt it the UK way. So um, that's how we spell it over here. And so the next stage of my process is that once the call is booked, they're going to go into call book status. So when the form is completed, they go into um, a new inquiry. When a call is booked, they are, oops, sorry, they are gonna go into a call is booked status. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just gonna update it. So when a call is booked, I'm going to change this action to after an appointment is scheduled. And it's now gonna say which template should they watch out for. The clarity call is already applied to the workflow. So that makes it super easy for me to apply this to the actual workflow in Zabsado. So now I want to send a proposal form. So I'm going to click on send a form. So I want to send a proposal form after the clarity call has ended. So after an appointment has ended is a trigger. And I can actually say I want this to be done one hour. And I'm going to require approval on this action. And the template we're looking for is the clarity call. So if I go back to my process map, the next action is to send the VIP day proposal. Now, 
remember we've got confirmation emails and reminders, but these are already attached to my schedule of work um, template in Dubsado. So I don't need to attach them inside the workflow. So I just want to make that clear as well. I'm not going to attach the appointment reminders to the workflow. They are attached to the scheduler template instead. So let's grab a form um, proposal. So I've got a proposal for VIP day and let's see VIP day proposal and I'm also going to select an email that I want to send so all of my canned emails are here so I can actually I've um, organized everything down based on the actual service that is happening so I can say do I want to send a, a proposal um, I've got a client proposal email Here we go. So I'm going to send my proposal to clients and that is going to send. So now you can see we've got a button here that says approve. So this is going to send one hour after the appointment has ended. And this approval means that the workflow won't happen. That email will not send out until I approve it in the workflow. So that's how I can control what is being sent out. So the next steps are we're going to activate the client portal, update the project status and send the VIP day scheduler. So I'm going to add these actions in. So we want to activate the client portal, which is this action. I want to do this after a contract is signed by the client. So I'm happy for that to happen immediately. It's not going to send anything out. In fact, it's only going to update in the back end of my system. So that just means it's going to organize everything for me. I'm going to put them into a VIP day status and again I'm going to do this after the contract is signed and then the next step that's going to happen is I'm going to send another scheduler so I'm going to send an appointment scheduler this time I'm going to invite my client to book in their VIP day so here we go it's got a canned email already attached and I'm going to say after the invoice is paid in full let's invite them to actually book in their VIP IP day. So as this is now a scheduler, again, this uh, confirmation email is attached to the, to the actual appointment scheduler itself, the appointment template itself. So now I want to send an intake form, pre-work form, and I've got reminders as well. So let's add these in. So two weeks before, I want to send my um, intake form. So I'm going to select send form. I want this to send out two weeks. And we're going to do it two weeks before an appointment start time. And guess what? I can select the VIP day. So I can send this out. So we're going to select um, an intensive prep work that will do and we're going to send an email. So let me scroll down to my VIP day emails and I should have an email ready to send with their forms. So uh, let's see if we have that here. I think that's the. Here we go. So this is actually the welcome email for me. And um, so that's going to send their intensive email. And then I also have a reminder. So we've got a re an email to send out to remind clients. So you can see how I'm building this out and you can see that I'm mapping this all against my VIP day. So again, I'm gonna do this five days before an appointment start time. It's gonna allow me to select the VIP day and I'm gonna send a different email this time. So if I go back to my VIP day um, emails here, um, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to send, here we go. So this actually is my form reminder. I'm going to put an approval in place because I can actually relink their specific intake form in this email. So that's how I'm going to send out my form reminder to my clients. Um, and then we have some to do. So what I'm going to do is copy these action points and I'm going to create a to-do action. So this to-do action, I'm going to assign it to myself. Okay. And then we are going to Now, what's great about this is I can use the smart fields and I can actually put in the client full name in this area. 
So I'm going to go select the smart field and add in their full name. And then below are all of the um, action points that need to be done for me to prepare for their VIP day. And again, I can map this before the VIP um, start time, or I can say, um, again, after an appointment is scheduled, I can have that mapped against the VIP day. So I can say four days or five days after an appointment is scheduled. And I will tick this box to say, send a email reminder. And that just means that I will get an email in my inbox to tell me I've got some to do actions that are needed. So the VIP day reminders are already attached to the template, the scheduler template. And then after the VIP day, I'm going to send an email. So I'm actually going to send a thank you email to my clients and let them know how much I enjoyed working with them. So let's send an email. In fact, let's send as a form. Um, and we're going to do this after an appointment has ended. I'm going to do it one day after the VIP day. So after it's ended one day and we're going to send out a client experience form. So I want to know how they got on. Did they enjoy their day? So we're going to send that out. So let's see if we have that, we should have. Okay, so this is my feedback email. So we're gonna add that in place here. And then finally, we're gonna add in an email for Slack support. So as you can see, um, we spoke about Slack support as um, uh, support for your clients after a day or after um, working with them. So I'm actually going to grab an email that I have in place already. So we've got some Slack support. Um, I'm just going to use this one two days and we're going to do this after an appointment has ended. So let's say five days after the VIP day because they've only got seven days Slack support. And um, so we're just going to let them know that they've got two days left of Slack support with us and that's remaining um, and then if you do have a wrap up email you can send that out with your to your clients um, and then what you can do is inside of Dubsado you can also archive your projects so um, you can do this say four weeks after an appointment has ended you can literally um, archive this project after the VIP day and there you have it. This is your entire VIP day workflow. This is what it looks like when you put it on autopilot inside of Dubsado. And what it's going to do is take your clients through each step of the process. You can see we've got a couple of actions where we need to approve, but essentially everything else is going to happen for you, which means that you are no longer spending so much time on client management in your business. So please do have a try and um, sit down. I highly recommend mapping out your process inside of your business um, as much as possible. So I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial and it was super helpful for you. If you haven't been mapping out your client processes, I would highly encourage you to start now. And you start with doing the strategy, mapping out the action steps for your client process, then creating the content that you need, the emails, the scheduler templates, the forms. Make sure you have all of the content in place, use your workflow map to help guide you to see what content you need, what's missing and what can be optimized for your client experience. And then you can look to actually implement that within your client workflows and implement more automation inside of your business for a consistent client experience. If you enjoyed this video, please, please do share your comments below. Make sure you hit like on this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I love to sh share new videos, new insights on how you can use Dubsado and ClickUp for your online business. So until next time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.